This video will show you what can be done using custom columns and application rules to add a new column to your mailbox and several buttons to your mailbox toolbar. Two of the buttons will allow you to visually flag items as either priority one or priority two, and another button will allow you to protect and remove the expiry date on specific messages. You can follow the provided documentation to enable this full solution on your own server. Notice, as I am logged in as James, that he currently has the standard default mailbox toolbar and columns. Nothing special has been done. On this system, the administrator has provided the users with a widgets conference that has, at this point, two toolbar buttons. This is a self-service application that uses application rules to allow users on the system to add or remove additional mailbox functionality. James clicks on the Enable Mailbox Priority buttons on the toolbar and is immediately told that his mailbox has been modified, but he has to log out, then back in again before the changes will take effect. After doing so, James now has five new buttons and an extra column to the left of the message icon. He can now select a message and designate it as either a Priority 1 or a Priority 2 message, and the corresponding icon is added to the new column beside the message. He can clear the icon by selecting it again and clicking on the Clear Priority button on the toolbar. This column is sortable, so James can sort on the Priority column just as he can on any one of the other columns. The default expiry time on James' mailbox is set for 120 days. If we check the properties of this message, it has but 35 days left before it will expire. James can select the message and then click on the Protect button, and this now does two things. It protects the message from being deleted, and the expiry has been set to Never. Clicking on the Unprotect button will unprotect it and set the expiry back to the default. At any time, should James wish to remove this new feature, he can return to the Widgets conference and click on the Remove Mailbox Priority Buttons Toolbar button. And, after logging out and back in again, his mailbox will be back to the default. To complete this solution, no additional resources are required. It is all done through application rules and two simple first-class scripts.